everybody, this is Angry Hippie Lady. It's been so long since I recorded that, uh, I nearly forgot to, uh, bring up my voice recorder. Granted, that could be because I'm about to fall asleep. So, I may sound a little drunk. Falling asleep and being a little drunk is release the Kraken, basically or, the same. you know, rather don't. Yeah, I don't think we should release the Kraken. That sounds like a really bad idea. Let's talk to Doris. Doris! Hi, you two. Tell me about life. Having fun? Oh, we're having a blast. That's nice. But Doris, Doris, cashier. She handles the winnings around here. But mostly the losings. Doris. So we won this token thing. Can we exchange it for some cash? Oh no, that's our from stroller to high roller token. It's only good for our ice of spades ice cream. It's for the kids. Wait, you let kids gamble here? Oh no, that's just one machine, so they don't bother their parents. We also have balloon animals. That's terrible. You're basically teaching kids how to gamble. You know what? I will speak to Mr. King about it. It really sounds a bit shady. You think? So anyway, you want your ice cream? Yes. Um, yeah. Chocolate or vanilla? Chocolate. Vanilla. chocolate. Wait, did I say chocolate? I meant vanilla. <laughs> oh dear, how about I just give you both? But don't tell anyone, okay? I would take one between the eyes before I. I don't know what happened there. Doors. Like froze oh for my. a <laughs> Okay then, I guess. Or maybe that's supposed to be her news. Oh yeah, ice cream. Okay, I guess we don't use the ice cream on ourselves. Fiona, I'm just gonna keep on clicking because apparently I can't use my era kiss. Okay, I can't do anything with that anymore. Percival seems. Okay, so I can't do anything with that. How about no? Can I give something to Fiona or Fiora or Fiona? Hmm. Wow, pretty. Look at the pretty fish, Ted. Touch it. Um. Okay. No. So maybe I'm done in here? This is a whole new recording session. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. There is something that I learned last episode. I sure as heck don't remember it this time because it's been a long, long time since I recorded, much less recorded this game. <laughs> Play with me. Ooh. Look at that living mountain is blocking the elevator. I bet he likes ice cream. I bet that's why I has ice cream. Maybe he wants banana on his ice cream though. Hello, Mr. Sir. Can we just scooch past you real quick? This is a restricted area, sir and or madam. Please return to the main floor in an orderly fashion and enjoy the variety of our games. In West Park Casino, Everyone is a winner. I'm sure you meant winner. I'm sure you're right. Um, you will let us pass. You will let us pass. These are not the droids I'm looking for. And wait, that's not what I said. You wasn't. What the? You're even too stupid to hypnotize. Okay. Wow. Wow. I didn't think that was possible. Let's pass. We're the FBI. Um. All right. Night shift, he is here, a good boy. It's past. We need to save the president. One day that's gonna work. It's gonna work. Dear God, man. You have to let us pass the president's life. Man. Ted, just give up. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. I'm glad I could help. Well darn. Pretty please? Please let us pass, Mr. Bouncer, I got sir. ice cream. Pretty please? For the love of, have some dignity. Is that a vomit stain on your shoe? It's a wait, is it? Ugh. Let's pass. We're the FBI. I'm Special Agent Mulder, and this is Special Agent Scully. We're investigating a strange Scully. occurrence around here with them aliens and whatnot. We need to go upstairs to check for aliens. Sir, I mean, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but that was really stupid. I, I can't believe... You have to, Dana. The truth is out there. <laughs> okay, X-Files. Alright, nice shift here. Bye-bye. Alright, 
the shift's here, buddy. You have a good one. I like that. I can keep on throwing these the at him. Huh, Eventually, one of them's gonna I'm work. Mess. And the coffee here is just below any reasonable standard. How do they expect us to work under these conditions? Uh, I'm having a hard time believing you two are bouncers here. How come? Well, you're just so tiny. And she's a girl. Hey, what? so a girl can't be a bouncer? Dang, be honest, she just said the words the I was going to say. Well, if you must know, I have a golden belt in karate. That's not even a thing. Girl can't be a bouncer. I could kick your ass. What? Uh, nothing. Forget it. I could. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, that's one of those moments where I was really glad that I don't have a webcam. I'm sure that we can find a better combination of flavors. What if I put nuts on It'll the cream? It'll just make a mess. What if I give him nuts? It'll just make a mess. It. Are you calling him an it? Booty charm. Hmm. Nothing magical. Can we take a break? 30 minutes. Tops. Nope. Come on, Gramps. We'll rest later. Uh, I'm getting old. Do I look... But he might like bananas. No time for a sword. One day I will find a use for this sword. Scare him with matches. I don't want to burn that. Why don't you want to burn that? I remember the night King got that hand. I have to hand it to that bastard. He's a really good card player. You gotta hand it to his hand. Ah, I hate myself. That living mountain is blocking the elevator. Um, you know, what's her face is on the other side of him, so you could get to that button. And he might smack you around, because, like, I'm not going up against a gorilla, but. Banana. Oh, we're gonna just take make this. a banana split. Banana. You shouldn't play with food. Banana. I'm sure that we can find a better combination of flavors. Banana. There. Now it's peeled. Banana. Almost perfect. It just needs the final touch. Nutter. I need to eat this, like, right now. It's not for you. Besides, you're allergic, remember? Can I just have a little, please? You can take me to the Paper City General later. Absolutely not. Man, who cares about the allergies? Like, she'll be fine. It'll be the end of the game, but she'll be fine. <laughs> All right, now you want this, right? Of course he wants this. He wants that ice cream. Hey, guy, you look like you can use a break. Cream? You hungry? Oh, is that a banana split? Wow, she did sure not is. react at all. Can I, can I have some? You can have all of it. Enjoy. You just gotta leave us alone. Thank you so much, guys. I love it. It's so delicious. Tastes like a tree. What? Can I give that and back though? Ew. Right away. He has snot bubbles, guys. Well, that just happened. Let's go. Shh. Okay. If I if I think, I'll uh, remember to cut that out, but I won't. Press the button. Let's go and talk to King. King's Lounge. Maybe if I clap, I'll remember. Clap. Except for I had a cup in my hand, well, so it's more like well, a slap well. my face. If it isn't the slap. dynamic duo. King, how's the cover up? I mean, the casino business. Hi, Mr. King. I love the Whoa. new lounge. It's Everything's darker fine. and much more sinister than the last one. Courtesy of my interior decorator, Elsie DeWolf. Extremely talented woman. I'm a bit surprised to see you two here. Yeah, how come? I figured someone like you would be smart enough not to bring the girl into the city. With all the recent accidents. Accidents? <laughs> I just realized you two could have a deep, gravelly voice showdown. Like, who wore it better? Let me ask you something. How did you do that? Shark the wins city? because Seems to me that voice you would need a clearance really nice. for that. Who says we didn't have it? 
It's, it's the bass. I prefer exactly Ted's voice, but the bass of the shark's voice is really we nice. Mind. Fair enough. You two didn't happen to come across two little bunnies on your uh, amazing Sorry. adventures, did you? That's all I can think of. What? Tell me about mugshots. Tell me about the mugshots. Don't tell them about the mugshots. Don't tell them about nope, the mugshots. I haven't seen them. Do they work for you now? Mm, in a way. By your disposition, it seems like they're doing a lousy job. Come on, Bear. You know your little tricks won't work on me. It was worth a shot. I would be more careful with the phrasing if I was you. And what was it that the mugshots were supposed to do for you? Okay, achievement. Duck season. Don't you worry about that. How did you two enter my casino? We asked door. nicely. You always were a bit of a wise guy, Bear. Yeah, wise that, guy, You say you're surprised to see us here, Sorry. but I'm not really buying it. It's almost as if someone tipped you off. Have you forgotten this is my city, Bear? I know everything that's going on. And yet you don't know how we entered your casino. Besides, your city, your level of arrogance is unbelievable, speaking like that in front of her. I have as much respect and admiration for the girl as anyone. But don't tell me you haven't thought about what will happen in a few years, Bear. The girl, she can only give us so much before she grows up and forgets this place. Paper City needs a strong leader, a representative, if you will. I can take care of the city in her absence. Take care of the city in her absence? You mean the way you took care of the steel But mill. I'm here right now. What are you talking about, I'm not Bear? absent. I had nothing to do with that. Mills coffee. is a friend of mine. You want Mills out of the picture so you can win elections next year. And you thought this would be the perfect opportunity to pin it on the Red Man. What's gonna happen when your buddy finds out you're trying to cross him? We found your matches at the crime scene together with this voodoo thing. <laughs> Girl, you honestly think I'd be stupid enough to leave all that at the crime scene? Why would I even bother to go there myself? I could just send one of my boys here. Every word that comes out of your mouth is a lie, King. You're a criminal, and you will never be anything more than a criminal, no matter how many fancy suits you own. You brought that red freak to our city, and... Ted, stop it! <laughs> You think I brought that monster to Paper City? You think I'm responsible for all this mess? I'm just a desperate man trying to make sense of all this. Same as you, Bear. We're nothing alike, King. Okay, stop it, you two. Mr. King, we're looking for Flint. We thought he might be here in Paper City. The Red Man knows where your brother is, girl. He told me so. I can introduce you to him. Red knows where Flint is? Don't you fall for his trick stall. He'll say anything just to keep you here. Is this money-making fortress you've built for yourself so important that you've gone and made a deal with the devil? You've made the deal with Red? How could you do that? Look at what he's doing to Paper City. You really are a bad man, King. And a coward, it seems. Look at the mighty Reef King, trembling because of one man. <sighs> I had enough of this. Since our entertainment for tonight came down with a bad case of sore throat, the girl can take her place on the stage. You, on the other hand, I think you can go off in the basement for a while. You could use some time to think things through. I don't through. like the idea of us splitting You up. can't keep us here. I need to go and look for Flint. He could be in danger. <laughs> As if you have a choice. Take them away. I, I do don't have think a so, Oh, King. he has a gun. Ted, don't do this. <laughs> Is this supposed to be a threat, Bear? Have your goons take just one step and find out. Ted, please put the gun away. We can talk this through. Yeah, shoot him. <sighs> Listen to the girl, Ted. She's only struck me as a smarter of you two. Shoot him you in the face. Both, buddy, but it's not her holding the gun. Let me explain what will happen next, Bear. My boys will take you down to the basement, and then they'll take the girl to the rehearsal. But don't worry, it's cozy down there. I'm sure you're used to worse dumps than that. 
The girl, on the other hand, she's already a star, and we can make this a swan song. One last performance before she leaves. She's gonna I'm not kill me. leaving. Why are you saying that? He's working with the red man, Dull. As soon as he separates us, he'll call for him to come and get you. But don't worry, I won't let this happen. King, I swear I will pull the trigger. Tell your men to stay put. Ted, please don't. Ted, do it. She, yeah. Shoot. What? What the hell? How did... I was aiming at you. What's going on here? Oh no, Ted. What did you do? You have nothing to threaten me with, Bear. Now, if you don't mind, it's time to fade to black. I don't like this. Do you feel lucky? Well, do you, shark? <laughs> do you, punk? Aw, oh, man. That's not what I wanted at all. Play it. Yeah, go poke it. Oh, snap. Poke it. Poke it. Okay. One more. Ah, uh, one more again. Okay. I don't know, there'll be achievement for five. I don't think I did it five times, though. Let's check in the locker. The locker is locked. Go figure. Man, who locks lockers? Oh, I have nothing great. Boiler? It's a hot water. It's a hot water boiler. It generates the heat for this whole building. But hot water doesn't need to be boiled. It's a water boiler. It's not a hot water boiler. It's a uh, it's a water boiler. <laughs> Come on. All right. Um. Yeah. What's the, what's that brag? What that do? Get up. I'll take the dirty, dusty rag with me, just in case. Okay, box. Okay, but what if... There has to be a better... Okay, what if... There has to be a... Um... There has to be... There has to be. Look, I don't know. There has to be. A um, maybe if we wipe up this stuff back here. No, I can't. It's gotta be something to do with this plant too. I didn't even see that small mint there. Let's see what happens. Get ready, Ted. This might end tragically. Okay, other Ted. GG, Ted. Oh. You think you can lock up Teddy Bear? Well, think again, buddy. Can't put Teddy Bear in a corner. No, you can't. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Um, granted, it's going to be a little short with all the outtakes I'm going to have to do. Like that one where I clicked off the game. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'm Anger Hippie Lady, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Oh,